Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mike and in this video you will learn the difference between using Revit links as overlays or attachments. Let's jump right in. I will create a few Revit files. Go to new, let's see the architectural templates. We're just gonna save a few files. So let's start with the first one. Here we go to file, save as, project. We are going to pick a place to save all of them. So the first one is going to be links one. And we are going to make just one backup and just save it. Now we are also going to do a save us. We are going to make another one that is going to be link two. We are also going to make another one that is going to be overlay. Okay, we got one more to go. So let's go to save us, save project, and this one will be attachment. So we got four projects saved. Now let's open them. Now let's, let's just work in this one, the attachment. So we are only going to do a small, small something, just a wall, and maybe a door in here. That's it. That's one of the drawings. All right. Now let's open the other one. Open and open the overlay. Just in the same instance of Revit, we have one model open and we are opening the next one, which is overlay. All right. So we got overlay open. Now for this one, I'm going to draw around here just something else, just so we can see the difference. Right. Let's put a window there. So we have a wall and a window in this one. Now we can close. This one, so just save, perfect. So save and close. Uh, so we're gonna save and then we're gonna close. Now let's open the links one. And in the links one, we are going to insert, uh, we are going to insert those two links. So the overlay and the attachment. All right, let's do the overlay first. We're gonna use, it doesn't really matter which one we pick, but for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to use the internal origin to origin. All right, so let's do that. All right, so we did the first one, which was the overlay. Let's do the attachment as well. And the same thing, the positioning from origin to origin under we have the two. Let's go to check those two links. I'm going to manage links. And here we can see the reference type. So both of them are set as overlay. Let's change one of them to attachment. And you will see that nothing really changes. So far, everything is the same. Here, if you go to the Revit links, well, you have the attachment and the overlay. The icon changes, but doesn't make any difference. For this first uh, exercise, it doesn't make any difference. So let's just save this one. And uh, now what we are going to do is to open the links two. We are going to bring the link one that has those two links. So let's insert and we are going to insert that links one model. Same thing, origin to origin. Let's do that. And you will get a message like this. It says nested links invisible. So the following nested links will not appear because the reference type, do you remember that we changed from overlay to attachment? So it says that the reference type is says to overlay in the link links one dot rvt and this is the model that we set to overlay so this one is not showing to make these links visible in the project open the manage links dialog and set the reference type to attachment but where in the links one rvt so we need to reopen that one and change it to attachment if you want to see it inside another model so this is really important to keep in mind. If you want to see the models that you have nested inside another Revit model, you need to set them as a reference type attachment. All right. So the way to fix it, really simple. Let's open um, back again the links one. It's OK. It's going to unload this one because it's going to open it in another tab. All right. Okay, so here we have the links one. Let's go to insert manage links. Let's change the overlay to attachment now. So both of them are attachment. Let's save this. Let's close it. And now let's reload the links one. And now inside the links one, we see that we can see both of them, both of the links, because they are 
set as an attachment. And if you also see in the links section, under the links one, you see the two models that are inside. Now you know, if you're not planning to use your links inside other links, then there is no need to use attachment. But if you do, then don't use overlay, use attachment. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.